Okay, so this is going to be the daily math puzzle question number three. And again, you don't need a ton of math knowledge in this one. So in the first question, it's going to be how many squares are on a chessboard? And don't say 64. Uh, so just to clarify, you could look at all the squares of size that are squares one by one. You could look at squares that are, say, uh, two by two, um, three by three, etc., up until you get a square of size eight by eight. And then in part B, a little bonus question since I missed yesterday, uh, how many rectangles are on a chessboard? So part A, how many squares? Part B, how many rectangles? So two different questions. And I'll start with A first and then we'll answer part B. So feel free to try this one. And if you're ready for the solution, let's take a look. So let's look at part A first. Let's look at the number of squares. And at least this is the way I approached it. The number of squares. And there's, I'm sure, different ways to, to think about it. <clears throat> so if you look at, for example, I'm going to start with this big size square first. Let's look at the number of 8 by 8 squares, right? The number of 8 by 8 squares, well, the number of 8 by 8 squares, there's clearly only going to be one of those. Okay, so one eight by eight square. And then if we look at the number of seven by seven squares, well, the number of seven by seven squares, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's a seven by seven square. And the way I thought about this one, okay, so there's one of the squares. You know, notice that its top left corner is, situation, is situated, right, um, in that top left square. Now think about where you could sort of push this the square around. No, I could notice I could move the square one to the right, uh, right, and then my square would look like this now. Maybe I'll use a different color. So if I move it one to the right, I would get this square, right, and then its top left corner would be situated here. And notice if I take that square, I could move it down one unit. I could move it down one unit, and that would give me this square. So its top left corner would be situated right there. All right, situated right there. And then I could move that, uh, that square one unit back to the left. And if I move that one back to the left, I would end up with this square. Right, so I could do that, and then its top left corner would be situated right there. So it looks like for the seven by seven squares, I would get one, two, three, four. I would get four of those. Right, I would get four, or equivalently, I could write that as two squared. Right, two squared. That's all the top left corners. And now you can go through this argument, I think, a little bit faster. So if I look at the uh, squares of size six by six, I would just use the same argument. So there's a six by, whoops, went too far. There's a six by uh, six square. Notice if you uh, start pushing that square around, you can make all of the top left corners kind of going through that same argument that we just did, all the top left corners would end up fitting in those, those, uh, these nine squares. And again, we could write that simply as three squared, and I can go through here and just extend this. So five by five, uh, four by four, uh, three by three, two by two, and lastly, one by one. You could go through this exact same argument. So we would have four squared here, five squared here, six squared here, seven squared here, eight squared here. And again, that makes sense, right? Because if you look at the squares of size one by one, there's clearly gonna be 64 of those. So it says the number of squares. So again, this is a little loosey goosey, but I think you can uh, believe this. It would be one squared plus two squared plus three squared up to eventually eight squared. Or equivalently, this is going to be one plus four plus nine up to 64. It actually turns out there's a nice little formula for this, and uh, I'll write this in just a second. But we can get this number to be equal to 204, and that's the number of squares. 
So a nice little formula. If you take one squared plus two squared up to n squared, a nice little closed formula for that is we get n uh, times n plus one times two n plus one all divided by six. And notice in this case, we would have n equals eight. And you can ver verify that if you have eight times eight plus one multiplied by two times eight plus one divided by six, we do in fact get 204. So that would be the number of, of squares. Now let's go back and look at the number of rectangles. So let's think about the number of rectangles. And I'm just going to do it up here. And I think the number of rectangles is actually a little bit easier. <clears throat> so the number of rectangles. So this will be part B. Right, so we could have lots of rectangles. And again, a rectangle could be a square, right? So we could look at all the squares. All of the squares would be rectangles. Well, I could look at, for example, a one by two. I could look at all of the rectangles of that size. I could look at all of the rectangles that are maybe, uh, we'll say two columns tall, right? Two columns tall and one, two, three, four, um, so we said, how about two columns wide and five columns tall? I could look at all of those rectangles, etc. So I want to count all of those rectangles that cover the board. So how could I do that? How could I count those total number of rectangles? Well, I'm going to think about this using combinations. Right, I'm going to think about what I would need to do to actually make a rectangle. So to make a rectangle, really all I need to do is I would need to choose two vertical lines. All right, all I really need to do is pick any two vertical lines, right? So maybe I pick this vertical line and say I pick this vertical line for my chessboard. And what I need to do, and I need to, um, so I need to choose two vertical lines, and I need to choose uh, choose two horizontal lines. So maybe the horizontal lines I pick, maybe I pick a horizontal line here, and I pick a horizontal line here. Notice what I've done, right, is I've made a rectangle. So all I need to do is count all of the ways to do that. And to do that, again, we just use combinations. So notice that, um, okay, yes, the chessboard is eight by eight, but I've got, we can count the number of vertical lines and the number of horizontal lines. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could think about nine vertical lines. So I've got nine vertical lines, and I have to choose two of those. That's going to be the number of ways I can choose two vertical lines. And I have to choose two horizontal lines from a total of nine. And again, this is going to be nine factorial over seven factorial times two factorial. That's what nine uh, choose two is going to be equal to. And again, I'm going to assume you can work with factorials. And I got this to be 36 times 36, which is going to be 1296. So there's 1,296 rectangles on the chessboard.